chicken broth, which is good instead of adding water, which usually you'll see sufficient for processing. They add chicken broth. So broth can add a few more nutrients than just plain water, which is good. All of that variety is really great because every single different animal offers a different nutrient profile. And variety is also great because that can curb picky eating. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho and the first wet kitten food that we'll review is called Nulo Freestyle. This video is not sponsored, but there are affiliate links in the description. So this product is actually suitable for adult cats and kittens. So the product name is beef and lamb recipe. That word recipe means between 25 and 94.9% composition of the named ingredients. So here we have beef and lamb. So that 25 to 94.9% is beef and lamb combined. But that's still great that you have two different meat-based ingredients in the product name rather than saying beef and rice or beef and potatoes. You want to see meat only in the product name. So for the ingredients, we have beef, beef, liver, turkey, beef broth, white fish, lamb, and Manhattan fish oil. I think that's it for the meat ingredients. So we have three, actually four different proteins. So beef, turkey, white fish, and lamb. And then Manhattan fish oil, that's a minimal amount, but all of that variety is really great because every single different animal offers a different nutrient profile. And variety is also great because that can curb picky eating. So you have a lot of different proteins all in one canned food. That's great. They're also specific about about the fish oil, which is really good. Instead of just saying fish oil, they tell you it's Manhattan fish oil. And it's preserved with mis mixed tocopherols, which is vitamin E. They add a few things like cranberries and pumpkin, which, you know, technically in the wild, cats wouldn't eat cranberries and pumpkins. But if you want to feed whole foods and get nutrients from whole foods, it can be a good addition. For example, cranberries can help remove bacteria from the urinary tract. Pumpkin can also help with, with loosening up stools if your cat's constipated. And it can also help with uh, firming up stools if your cat's stools need to be firmed up. <laughs> so um, it's, you know, it can, it can provide, you know, these phytonutrients and different vitamins and minerals, as long as it isn't the bulk of the food. For example, if it said beef and pumpkin recipe, then you would know that maybe there's a little bit more pumpkin in the product. But since we have beef and lamb recipe, you know, I wouldn't be too concerned about these extra ingredients. And then they actually tell us the dry matter of the carbohydrate amount. It's 3.37%. So that's really great. Less than 10% is what you want to aim for. But some cons here is that they have agar agar, guar gum. These are thickening agents that they add to mostly canned pate foods to kind of bind it all together. And they still do add a, a handful of synthetic supplements, even though they're using some of these, uh, you know, cranberries and pumpkins. But anything after salt is likely less than 1% of the product. So the majority of the ingredients are right here. But let me know in the comments if this is better or or worse than what your kitten is currently eating. The next wet kitten cat food that we'll review is Instinct, and this one is specifically for kittens. The product name says real chicken recipe. So again, recipe means 25 to 94.9% chicken, and in this case, we just have one meat that's named. When we go down to the ingredients, we have chicken, chicken broth, salmon, beef liver, egg product, tuna fish oil. I think those are the only meat ingredients. So we have four different proteins, which is good for variety. Chicken, chicken broth, which is good instead of just saying chicken, like instead of adding water, which usually you'll see sufficient for processing, they add chicken broth. So broth can add a few more nutrients than just plain water, which is good. Salmon, third protein or second protein, and then beef liver is the third protein. Great that they have a secreting organ. The most common one that you'll see in commercial cat foods is liver. Egg product is good. Egg is the most bioavailable protein. It's like the perfect protein. And then tuna fish oil, instead of just saying fish oil, they are specific and tell you that it's tuna. And again, with this one, they also add pumpkin, tomato, kale, cabbage, broccoli, cranberries, blueberries, parsley. You know, these things, as I mentioned, can provide some trace nutrients. And then when we use the guaranteed analysis to get an approximate number of carbs, it's around 5% on a dry matter basis. So 5% is great. I wouldn't be too concerned about these veggies and, and things because the approximate carb amount is still very low. So you'll know that most of the product is from the meat-based ingredients. But some cons here, they have guar gum, a thickening agent, not necessarily appropriate for cats, but it is appropriate and necessary for the canning process to keep it, you know, into that, that pate shape. And they still add some of these synthetic supplements and, you know, even though they include these whole foods. So you get a little bit of combination of both. But I think the pros still outweigh the cons. I think that this is still a, a, an appropriate cat food for kitten. 
questions, give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far. That way more kitten parents like you can see this video. Thank you very much. The next wet kitten cat food that we'll review is Wellness Core. And this one is also specifically for kittens. The product's name is Turkey and Chicken Liver Recipe. So again, we see the word recipe. So that means between 25 and 94.9% turkey and chicken liver. And it's great that they specify chicken liver instead of just saying turkey and liver. That's really great. So when we look at the ingredients, we have turkey, chicken liver, turkey broth, chicken, chicken meal, herring, and Manhattan fish oil. I think that's it for the meat ingredients. So pros here, we have turkey and chicken liver and turkey broth instead of water sufficient for processing they also add broth and herring and Manhattan fish oil so instead of saying fish oil they're specific about it but a con would be this chicken meal here because technically meals are considered rendered ingredients and rendered ingredients may include 4d meats dead disease dying and deceit they're allowed in cat food and as long as those ingredients are rendered and you'll know that it's a rendered ingredient when it says meal so I don't know if this is what they include but that's just something to be mindful of they they also add whole foods like cranberries and flaxseed and kelp and chicory and yucca and alfalfa meal. So it has some of those whole foods that we saw in the previous products. And a uh, con could be that they have a lot of thickening agents. So they have guar gum, cashew gum, and xanthan gum. All of these gums are thickening agents that typically they use in wet canned foods to hold that pate shape. And they still add a, a good amount of these synthetic nutrients here after salt is probably less than 1%, but there are some that are higher up on the list, including those thickening agents. But when we look at the carbohydrates, it's they actually provide this information for us. Dry matter is 2.04%. So that's really great. It's less than most commercial cat foods. So I think that the, the pros definitely outweigh the cons if you're looking for a better quality wet kitten cat food. My brother actually uses this brand wellness for his two kittens and they really like the food. The next wet kitten cat food that we'll review is by Halo. And this one is all also specifically for kittens. So this product name here, we have chicken recipe, same as the other ones between 25 and 94.9% chicken. And when we look at the ingredients, we have chicken, chicken liver, chicken broth, vegetable broth, salmon oil, preserved with vitamin E, dried egg product. And that's it for the meat ingredients. So I think this one has the fewest meat ingredients of the previous products and it's single protein. So if you're looking for something like that, this, this would be good for you. It does include liver, which is great chicken broth and veggie broth instead of just water sufficient for processing. So you'll get those trace nutrients from that. Salmon oil is specific instead of just saying fish oil and mixed tocopherols is vitamin E. They also add kelp, which can be good. Dried egg product, that's another protein source that's great. Flaxseed for fiber probably and some fatty acids. And another pro here is that they do provide us with the carbohydrate amount and the dry matter basis is 3.8%. So slightly higher than the previous white kit and foods, but still very low compared to most commercial wet canned foods. Now, some cons might be that this ingredients list looks a bit longer than the other ones that we looked at and may have more synthetic nutrients. But again, I still think that this is a better quality than most canned foods that you'll find. You know, at least they have the chicken recipe instead of saying with chicken or chicken flavor. So this one is going to have more chicken in the products compared to products with the with or flavor in the name. And you can use this transition video right over Mia to get your kitten onto his new wet food. Thanks for watching.